did you learn today about Austin's ability to help of your staff to manage this situation and um, what kind of confidence does that give you going forward? Yeah, well, just in general, our team is, is, is healthy. Our team is healthy, and we haven't been in a while. Now, Austin, you know, it's, it's, you know, what's going on this week has been, uh, for him personally uh, and us, you know, emotional trying. Um, you know, but at the same time, uh, I think and we'll see if he's still, I mean, we're still learning his body and how it reacts. But um, I, I think I'm, I'm making this statement, and I don't know whether it's an accurate statement because I, I haven't been through it. But, you know, as long as, as with anyone, as long as his levels are managed, um, we should not see uh, any change in his performance. I think that's accurate. Um, and, and as you saw today, you know, uh, between um, Ms. Michaels and, and Dr. Clement, you know, every time he came out there checking and monitoring. So as long as we can, as long as we can limit the sways and his, his, his levels, um, we don't anticipate. Um, we're going to see a lot more games this year like that. With everything that's gone on. Okay. With everything that's gone on this week, did it feel like getting back to actually playing basketball? There's like almost a weight lifted off the team a little bit, being able to just get back to normal a little bit? Uh, probably. And that's, that's probably more applicable to Austin than anybody else. Everyone else is, has been doing the same thing. I said this uh, when we had the, the media day the other day, the press conference the other day. I mean, it's, it's a relief um, in many ways because we know what was going on, and we had the best staff in the world to be able to help us manage. And so, um, but yeah, it's good to get back on the court. It's good to be healthy again. I think that second half um, may have been our best half of the year. It's one of our better halves of the year, if not the best half, just in terms of our execution at both ends of the court. I got to watch the tape. I thought 10 had more than 15 rebounds. <laughs> You want to win every game you play, and we didn't go into today. Uh, we went into today trying to be Cincinnati, and nothing else was on my mind, and I don't think anything else was on our guys' mind. And so, I honestly, until the game was over, I did not know what our situation was. And if you may have done this to Liz, if you do this week, say, well, if you do the hell, I don't want to hear it. Just, you know, I say, you've heard me say this, you wait till the end of the season. You pick your head up and look and you see where we are. Well, you know, the year's broken into three parts in many ways. You got the regular season, which just ended. All right, so now we're going to pick our head up and see where we are and see when we play and who we play. Um, you know, the second part is the Big East tournament. And then the third part is, is the NCAAs. And so um, we just finished one of three phases. So if you don't mind, can I rephrase that because I'm trying to look ahead to the tournament? Now that you know, how good is it? not to have to play two that you've avoided that first round. I think it's good because in as much as I said five minutes ago, we're healthy, we still need a little rest. Um, and so it's good we get an extra day of rest. There's no doubt about that. We get an extra day. And so. You mentioned in the second half you seem to play well in there. What was, talk about Tim's role in that second half. I felt like he got every rebound. Uh, you know, he got, he got the ones we needed. Uh, uh, there's no doubt about that. And then at the offensive end, I thought our guys did a very good job of just playing. It wasn't about calling a bunch of plays. They came down and make the, made the right reads. You know, we brought him up. We brought him up to the high post as we do to start and to get him back down after one or two cuts. And I think he made the right decision. As a team, just to to, have, to be able to play kind of freely, do you, do you sense that the the guys were able to do that today and just because you sort of talked about the last two games, you kind of went in. Um, last week you didn't really know you have, wouldn't have Austin, and then <coughs> Monday you, you knew at the last minute that you didn't have Austin. Today, no, it's, it's back much to, yeah, back I, to I would like to say that. Uh, you know, it's just, like I said, the last two games, um, you know, one of the key parts of what we do, you know, it was, was not. You know, no one was feeling, but really was not feeling well in the last game. He was not there at all. And so to go into today prepared, knowing he's going to be there, um, it makes a big difference. It makes a big, big difference uh, in, our, in our team. Could you um, 
shed a little light on your process of deciding how much Austin would play. I don't know if you know, but you know his name wasn't among the starters for the game. Did you intend for him to start? Well, I came out of time was up there. Well, then it was changed at the last minute because it was college okay. for a long, long time. And so, like when you walked out, you knew he would start, and he knew he would start. Did yes. you picture thirty minutes, or did that decision evolve? Like no, that evolved. How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, it, and I think that's how it's going to be. Um, it's just going to be between uh, Austin um, and our medical staff, just how do you feel. I, I think, you know, what, what the doctors have said to me and said to Austin is that resume your normal life. He's in shape. It's not like he's physically run down now, now that his levels are within normal parameters for him. And so as long as we can keep him there, he can do um, any and everything, I believe, at this point. And so it's just a question of... As, 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 as Dr. Clement said, just do it until you get tired, and then we'll make some adjustments and go from there. And so, um, now I would be not being honest and say the whole time we've been like kind of peeking at him a little bit, you know, and trying to see um, just his body language. But uh, I, I am fortunate, he's fortunate, our team is fortunate uh, that we have a terrific staff that's, that's there just to monitor him, just to watch him. Uh, and, I, and I trust that he'll be honest. There was only one point where he said, Coach, I need to come out. Um, and so as long as we just watch that and check his levels, uh, you know, hopefully everything and not hopefully everything will be okay. Talk about your team's ability to handle the four-four pressures in the second half. You're going to break it and get some of these problems. Yeah, and, and that's, I mean, Chris uh, was at the forefront of that. We were trying to get into him and let him make the decisions. But just our, our primary <coughs> one, and he's our primary one in there, but... You know, Jason did a decent job. Austin was back there a lot. He was okay once he was in there. Um, you know, what we wanted to do was focus on once we beat their pressure, getting into our offense quickly, getting into our early sets once we beat the pressure. And I think at the end of the day, uh, I thought Chris did a very good job of just, you know, once again, once again, I guess the team is pressuring and dogging it the entire time of, of managing the game. But I know there's a play where you were smirking at Greg a little bit. Do you th- I mean, how did you feel during this game? Do you think, you know, we're making more of a deal out of this than if it actually is? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. It was just good to be out there again playing with my teammates and just getting some, I mean, just doing what I do. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun just to be out there. Did you, get a, did you get a sense of how much the crowd was maybe particularly behind you today? Yeah, I was happy to have the, the support out there. I mean, it kept me going. I'm I mean, I want to thank them a lot, too. Coach said that you did have to come out at one point. So how much different than a normal game? Um, Austin, this Cincinnati team basically uh, beat you guys twice last year. What's different about your team or different about their team? You you guys really saw them. We are a different team this year. We're a different team. (laughs) It's more about you. Next year, it is new year. Okay. You might not have gone and talk about the uh, challenges. They're going to 33 Stevenson. 